Oh, creek now i talked to a couple guys who said that they got some already so that's a good sign the water looks a lot clearer than last week last week there was only a couple inches of visibility but i'm sure as you can see now you could essentially see bottom so i don't think i'm gonna put an egg sack on right away just try a single ooh, single bead This is back hole. Pretty uh, extensively. Last right, so week doesn't look like there's anything in there. Surprisingly enough. Huh. This water is super clear. Might as well give her a cast. Make sure. see anything I'm not gonna fish it so yeah this is a creek pretty uh pretty scenic it's almost too clear but that one guy said he got some it's gotta be some in here so I will uh have you tuned back in once I find a hole. So stumbled upon this hole looks like it could hold a fish or two. Again. I'm gonna put on an egg sack just to give him something with some scent along with a blood dot trout bead. Last week when I was here, there were a bunch of the uh, little six inch stockers everywhere. So sort of playing with this egg sack is, you know, if I find those, I'm gonna imagine that's a hole that'll hold big and small fish. So Drifter all the way through there. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, I got that on camera. How cool is that first drift? Ooh. Oh, I hope it's getting this. Oh, this is. Oh. Looks like a good size one. First cast. Oh my god. 
Come here. Ooh, that's a colored up. He ain't done. Welcome back. All right. Get one picture of her and then send her on her way. First drift. She goes. Yep, go back in the deep water. Oh, she's going the wrong way. She'll figure it out. Alright, so my setup for that fish was this egg sack, which it destroyed. Egg sack, trout bead, swivel, float. That was my first steelhead of the year. Pretty one. And I really hope, I think I got the hit on camera, but that was super cool. Oh no, fuck. This branch is making it difficult, but... Some people like to pop an egg to get the scent going. I like to just barely hook the mesh and just, uh, You know, fully expose the hook. And usually with these steelhead, when you find one, you find more this early in the year. generally come up in pods. I just know that there's some sitting right by that branch, but I don't want to have to reset everything. Has a little smelt, smolt. <laughs> but again, as annoying as those are, those will sort of let you know if you're fishing a fishable hole. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> and easy, buddy. Easy. All right. And there he goes. Oh, we're just touching wood. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, don't take me under. Oh. 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 Is that a brown? No, that's... Don't go under. Oh, he's going on shore. <laughs> All right. Look at how fresh that is. Another big old hen. She might have came in today. She's loaded with eggs. fish she's back in the water Ugh. oh my reel is filthy that's probably not the smartest thing to do but yeah fuck Third one out of this hole. This one was just on a bead. No egg sack. Oh no, he went under. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh no. Oh, is he back? If I landed, it'll be my first ever fish just on a bead with no egg sack. Ooh. He ain't done. Come on, fish. Let's see if he's got one last run in him. Nope. Not as big as the first two, but still. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. how the trout bead works uh, let's see if the hook is easy no 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 so yeah you can see that well the bead slid up a bit but they suck the bead in and the hook goes with it that's good for when you fish in low conditions like I got today so Nice. There he goes. All right. This is awesome. Yeah, the bead sits about, people, some people do, you know, half an inch, three inches, anywhere in between. 
and all the fish see is a single egg. They suck it in, hook goes with, set the hook, boom. These are trout beads, blood dot, I believe they're called. And uh, seem to work pretty well. This would be absolutely perfect. Oh, oh, <laughs> another little guy, like that, but he's off. Oh man. <laughs> I never would have expected to catch these little guys and beads but there he goes all right I worked that first spot over pretty well and uh again last week was my first time I had this week so I'm gonna go adventure a little bit see I can't find another hole. I've got probably three of those big ones that I got in camera. 10, 15 of the little guys. And everyone else seems to get fish today too, so no point in staying at one hole and fishing it when you caught all the fish. Because uh, this creek looks like there's tons of holes everywhere. Just like right here. So uh, I'm gonna get the GoPro, GoPro back in and we're gonna give this hole a shot. All right, just stumbled upon this hole. Definitely looks like there could be a fish or two in here. So. Looks like the deepest hole I've seen yet. That might just be a snag. Died down a bit since I first got here. How's it going? Looked into another big one. Took a bead. Feels heavier than the first two. Oh, where are he going? <laughs> He's got a lot more energy than the first two. He's all tangled up. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, he barely rolled himself. Going twirling down there. He's making a mess. I get my foot. Oh. Some pretty fish. Uh, is he done? Alright. Look at that. Ooh. Another pretty one. Took the bead. And that's textbook. Right. Here in the corner of his mouth. Pliers. Let's get this sun out. You ready? Whoa, whoa, let's get one more. Look at them. Pretty. So you ready? Whew. Awesome. Switch the depth up. It looked a little bit deeper back there. All I got him on was just a single bead and a hook. Just went down here towards the end of it. Thought I saw a couple more move when he was making his runs. Seems to be turning back on. Back to the bead bag combo.
probably see it getting played with more. I'm the culprit of all those hits. He is spunky. Right when I stopped recording. <sighs> I had a fish that's about pretty good. One fish. One mature fish, that nice colored up male. And a few of the ones they just stocked. Um, got about another hour and a half to fish. So. I'm gonna go Ooh. probably back where I started some of those holes that guys were at before. I think I'm gonna give that a shot. And uh hope we make it home in time for the Alabama LSU game. I've been fishing this little spot. Pulled out about five or six little uh smolts, but nothing big yet. I feel like there's got to be something big sitting behind this rock. And a couple casts on camera, see if that brings me good luck. And if not, it's on to the next hole. It's going to be right about there. Right on the shoulder of that rock. Alright, well, back at the hole I started at, let's see if there's any new fish up here. I can't believe I was able to pull three big fish out of here. <laughs> nice cast. See him. Oh, yeah, thought I had one. <laughs> thought I saw him take it. Oh, man. That looks like a monster. Oh. He's going to run. Ooh, maybe not. Yep. Come on. I'll release you. That looks like a good one. Or something. Someone tried to get her. Sucker spawn it looks like. This might be the biggest one of the day. There we go. Alright, she's free. 
That's it. Oh, absolutely beautiful steelhead. Let's see. All right. Well, I got one more after the camera died. I recorded it on my phone, but it's tough to fight a fish in one hand and record with your phone in the other so it's not the best quality but I ended up with six mature fish and then countless of those little guys um, so yeah make sure if you like the video like it subscribe because we're gonna have more videos coming soon obviously steelhead season is fully underway I hope to get out for a brown trout at least this year I've never gotten one out of the creek only casting spoons into Lake Ontario so um, you know I got a lot of videos planned soon so subscribe and thanks for watching